Now we're going to look at the pyruvate grooming stage and a citric acid cycle. So when pyruvate, or sometimes it's called pyruvic acid, they're interchangeable. When it comes out of glycolysis, it goes through a what's called grooming or oxidation step. So during this process, pyruvate is converted to a molecule of acetyl-CoA. And you notice that it also loses one of its carbons. So we're going from a three carbon molecule to a two carbon molecule. That's all that's left from the original glucose. In the same process, pyruvic acid also loses electrons and it gives the electrons to NAD plus. So we make NADH as well. So now uh, the molecule is ready to enter the citric acid cycle. So acetyl-CoA comes in, it delivers these two carbon molecules into the cycle, and then acetyl -CO and then coenzyme A, it comes out. So these two carbon molecules enter this cycle. They're gonna start losing some electrons. We're gonna break down these two, this molecule, two carbon molecule in two individual carbon molecules in the form of CO2. So by this time, we've totally disintegrated the glucose molecule that we started with. And in the process, we're going to make some ATP. So during the citric acid cycle, the two carbon molecule is going to be broken down into CO2. And then if you notice, the numbers in here are twice as many as here because they're calculated per glucose molecule. So if you remember, we're going to get two pyruvic acid from one glucose. And if they're doing one cycle for one acetyl coenzyme A, we get three of NADH, one FADH2, two CO2, and one ATP. Per glucose molecule, you need to double those numbers. So now let's take a look at the reactants of products of these reactions we just saw per glucose molecule. Let's start with the pyruvate grooming. The reactants of the pyruvate grooming step, again, it's what's going in. So pyruvate or pyruvate acid goes in, two of them per glucose molecule. Coenzyme A goes in and NAD plus goes in. What comes out? Acetyl-CoA, we're going to get per glucose, 2 acetyl-CoA, 2 CO2, and 2 NADH. What about the citric acid cycle? The reactants are acetyl-CoA, because they're going in, NAD plus, FAD, and ADP. What is coming out? CO2, coenzyme A comes out, NADH, FADH2, and ATP. So you need to know what the reactants and products are, how many you get per glucose molecule, and how many you get per individual molecule. So I would encourage you to practice these steps.